We got the intro going down right now. You guys better love the hair because I'm about to get a haircut. I'm about to cut it. I'm about to cut it short, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, man. Don't do it, man. <laughs> oh, they looking nice, bro. Thanks, bro. I got it going here. Hey. I've had this hairstyle for about it's probably like two years already. It's time. I think I just need to just cut it. Okay. You know? But we'll see what we do. We we'll see what we do. I know, man. I'm gonna miss it, but you know what? It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. It was sure. podcast. We talking about hairstyles already. Where you guys right, at? No. How about your boy? This is the intro. Woo! Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. We have a huge podcast today. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing, incredible. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We have a packed show. I am your host, Rico Suave, Latino Heat, the most electrifying podcaster in the world, baby. Woo! I really believe that. I got the Bronco sweater going on because we finally won a game, baby. But we'll get into that here in just a little bit. I don't know why my background's not playing right now, but there we go. Boom. Simple as that. I fixed the background just like that. We do it live. Guys, let's bring our guest in. Okay. I'm excited for this one. He is a producer. He is a songwriter, performer, okay? And his manager, shout out to his manager, Cole. Cole man, I can't read my producer, my homeboy. Cole Burr, the producer, baby. That's what I'm talking about. She's Louise. This guy, we got the running TV going on over here. I'm telling him, turn it off because it's distracting me. Turn that off, man. All right. We're back in it, you guys. Let's bring our guest back in. He is Dreams, all the way from Portland, Oregon. Woo! How's it going, bro? You already know, man. It's so it's all good in the neighborhood, man. Um, you know, we're trying to trying to keep it, you know, locked down. You know, we're trying to keep the energies, the vibes as high as possible. And you already know, we you know it's Dia de los Muertos, so. You know, Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Thank you for having me in this special day. Um, you know, after all that's happened in the rap world, you know, I think it's a good tradition, you know, from the Mexican culture to pay respects to all the fallen soldiers. So um, absolutely, you know, Feliz Dia de los Muertos and, uh, you know, rest in peace to uh, um Takeoff, you know, that was a, a, a bad loss that, that we took, but uh, I know he's in a better place now. And, you know, as long as we keep him on our minds and we keep remembering his music and just representing, man, I think this it's, it's a good thing to do, you know? Oh, absolutely, man. That was just a, that's just something that shouldn't have happened. That's crazy. I know, dude. Man, prayers to them. Yeah. And then, you know, shout out to Coulter, the soldier for this uh, hookup, for this amazing collab. This is gonna be super dope. Shout out to Coulter, the soldier. And you know what, yes, yes, did you said um, the Feliz Dia de Muertos. Um, we saw my, my girlfriend and I, we celebrated it too. We uh, got stuff for our uncle, for her grandpa and her family, a few family or family members. I got some of my family members, man, a friend. So yeah, we got their pictures out. We got them food. We got watermelon for them, bananas. Yes, we ordered them Pizza Hut pizza. Um, what else did we get? An apple, an orange we put out there. We got some flowers for them. So, yeah, we do the same thing, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I, I was just talking to my mother. She, she, she lives in Mexico. Yeah. And she says that uh, actually this Dia de los Muertos started last week. You know, it's kind of like a yeah. day... Uh, they dedicate, I believe, Thursday is for uh, the pets... Yeah. Friday is for like uh, unborn babies and stuff like that. And I'm not sure about the other days, but I, I know today is the main day. Right. But, you know, it's, it's Mexican culture. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to bring the good, leave the bad. You feel me? Yeah, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. I like that. I'm all about that. Um, so, yeah, dude, before we get into our amazing guest dreams, 
Um, I got to do a quick shout out to the website because people are asking me how they can support the podcast and this is how they can support me. So thank you so much for everybody tuning in. We'll get into our guest here very soon. I just got to put the ads here real quick. Our very own ad right here goes right here. Arielent.com. Arielent.com because that's what helps the podcast. We got the music, this merchandise, my photography, my podcast, and our new thing, Adventure, Ariel Salsa. If you want some salsa, I do ship it. One day shipping, it goes to you guys immediately. Ariel Salsa, it's fresh, it's organic, it's delicious. Arielent.com, boom. Another great way to support me is by going to my amazing YouTube channel. That's right, my amazing YouTube channel. Boom, goes like this. Type in the search, arielent.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. We're blowing up 385 subscribers. We got the videos going. At, we got dropping three, four a week. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for your donation links down below. Donation links are down below. Thank you so much. And I got to do the prayer. I forgot about the prayer. So I got the prayer right here. Let me bring that up right now. Today is November 2nd. Here we go. It goes like this. Thank you, God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here. Ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Thank you, God, for having Dream on the show. Dream on the show. Let's thank you, God, for having Dreams on the show. Thank you, God, for, um, let's see here, for the millions and millions of people tuning in right now. Thank you, God, for my family, our perfect health, for food, for shelter. Thank you, God. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Boom. Amen. Well, I do. I got to do the prayer real quick. And uh, bring our guest back in the show. Dreams, tell us who you are, where we can follow you, support you, what you do, man. Hello. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Thank you for having me on the show. You already know it's always good. Woo! And um, yeah, man, it's it's you know it's it's been a good one. You know, I just to make a long story short, I am from Mexico. I was born in Monterrey, Mexico. If anybody knows where that's at, it's right right on the on the border of the U.S. and Mexico border. And uh, yeah, I I've traveled a long way. I I started on a mountain, you know, with chicken, goats, pigs, every you know, just just the rural life, you know. Um, we didn't have much back then, you know, it was, uh, it's definitely been a sacrifice since day one. And that's, that's what I'm bringing to the industry. You know, I am, a, I'm a hard worker, you know, I believe in quality music and that's, that's exactly what I'm bringing. You know, I am tired of, 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 uh, you know, of, of the low bars, you know, I'm tired of the, of, of some of the music that's just kind of like makes you just scratch your head. And I, uh, upon, uh, when I was 10 years old, I moved to Atlanta. Um, and I, I, I feel like in my industry, that's, that's a good place to be, you know, when it comes to the hip hop world and just music in general. Um, Atlanta has, has been good to me. Um, starting out, I, I was the only Latino person in the whole school. And uh, they took care of me, man. The whole um, budget they had for for the ESOL program, which is the program that helps helps Latino students kind of adapt, it, it all went to me. And they took care of me, man. They got the best teacher they could to teach me how to speak the language. So I was able to learn the language in one year. Nice. Um, and then after that, man, you know, it was just awesome because I was able to interact with, with my peers and just learn the Atlanta culture. When I got there, man, I, I started in Sylvan Road. I don't know if you heard of that road, but it's one of the most kind of like low income places that you can be in Atlanta. It's, it's part of West End as well. Hmm. And um, man, I, I thought I won the lottery. I mean, I was I was 10 years old coming from Mexico, coming from a rural lifestyle. And we had carpet man. we had heated. You know, we had AC. And to me, man, I I thought we won the lottery. You know, it was not until, you know, I got a little older that I realized, you know, like this wasn't really a, a, a you know, the nicest neighborhood. Um, but I did meet a lot of quality people out there. I, I did 
learn a lot about the streets. I did learn about um, how to just how to just go through life, you know, not to let, you know, negativity overtake me. And um, yeah, man, it's, it, it's been, you know, straight up from there. Um, of course, you know, I did have shortcomings, you know, and uh, but that's nothing, man. Life is all about keep going, you know, and that's that's something else I'm bringing to the table. I, um, I started making music when I was in high school. I started in a heavy metal band. I, I play guitar. I play the bass. I used to do uh, the the pig squeals. I used to do this, the screaming oh, I know, as well. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, man. Uh, Metallica was actually, you know, it still is one of my favorite bands, you know, and then it just goes up from there. You know, it gets heavier. It gets, it gets up to partway drive and it just gets crazy, you know, but um i don't know man when it comes to music i i, I love, love it all you know even before a pandora and all the streaming sites i i always kind of made a point to learn from different types of music so um yeah so i was in high school the name of my band was called abandon everything and it was a cool four years but after that just my bandmates took their own you know paths and the good thing about it is, you know, we still continue to be friends and they pretty much let me have all the instruments. You know, they didn't want to continue doing music and I did. So they were like, here. So I uh, I started making beats, you know, um, I started making beats and then I, I went to a Berkeley College of Music and I learned all the all the good things when it comes to music production and audio That's engineering. Dope. That's what's yeah. up. Was it hands on? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely, man. That was the best part, man. You yeah. know, I, I knew I wanted to go to college and actually turn down a, a scholarship for Stanford. I was going to be in the NASA program. But I, I told myself, man, I was like, I, I love science. You know, I, I love the, the physics, but I think passion is, is, is my calling. So I turned that down and uh, I really focused on the music. I, I opened up a studio in Atlanta and that's when I started meeting other artists and I started just giving out my stuff, man. I was giving out beats. I was doing studio sessions for free. I was just kind of like trying to get myself into that deep musical ocean, you know? and just living it you know I was I was getting invited to parties studio sessions you know I really kind of went in you know and uh, I was able to meet a lot of great musicians I met um, uh, Whitney Houston's nephew uh, Jonathan Blair Houston in one of those uh, I was actually nominated for music producer of the year in Georgia and I, I, I met him at the award ceremony and we got to chop it up and we made a couple of tracks and stuff. And, you know, we still have conversation. We still yeah. work on them. Sick, man. Yeah, yeah absolutely, man. And um, yeah, so from there, you know, I, I, uh, I found myself with a bunch of beats, with a bunch of, 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 of stuff. And one day I just sat down and started writing. This was around 20, 2015, okay. I started writing, man. And I don't know, I just felt a, a strong connection with it. You know, I felt like I could touch people and I could kind of like, you know, just influence and, and kind of put my footprint in, in, in the writing world. And I just went with it. So um, yeah, uh, fast forward seven years, I, um, uh, I got married and, and and then I moved to Portland uh, and I'm just kind of like experiencing a whole new scene. You know, I'm meeting a lot more other artists. That's 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 actually uh, where I met Culture of the Soldier. Yeah, I was out here and uh, I uh, I went to a show, you know, and uh, I, I met him like that, man. I met him like that. Uh, it was a. Uh, Capone, Mr. Capone show. Yeah, yeah. And then everything just kind of like went forward from there, you know. Um, wow, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, they, 
you know, he listened to my music and he was like, hey, we're getting, uh, we're, we're having another show in Hillsboro. And if you want to perform, man, you're down, you know? Uh, so it was really like, a, I don't know, like one of those like life-changing moments. I and, bet. and I'm still processing it. I'm still like, I'm still digesting what happened. Uh, it actually just happened like within a couple of months wow. um, where we met and they, they, they heard my music and they were like, hey, man, we got to have you on the show. So I was able to perform alongside uh, Caroline Rodriguez. Um, I, um, I forgot their name. I always get them wrong, but it's, it's, it's the twins, the high power twins. Um, hopefully, you know, they won't get at me, man, after that. But yeah, no, man, I, I met a lot of people through them. I met Lazy Dub. I met a, a lot of a, a lot of people in the high power uh, label. Yeah. And... And, and I'm still meeting them, man. It's, it's so many people that, that make this industry happen. Yeah. And it's a lot of moving parts. And, man, it's, it's, it's an amazing experience. I got to tell you that, man. Um, if you want to check out my music, you know, if, if anybody in the audience want to check out my music, you can always go to my IG. And that is Dreaming in Paradise but the dreaming without the G because I'm the G, you know, <laughs> so it's dreaming in paradise. And that's, that's where I'm mostly active. I also have a TikTok, and that is, let's see, that is going to be uh, dreaming in paradise as well. So using the same handle as the IG, you can type it in TikTok, you can find me and uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, awesome. get get at me. Uh, my latest song is with Lore. Uh, it's kind of like an R and B ish hip hop vibe. And uh, yeah, you can hit my YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music. You can hear some of my beats. I'm actually gonna drop some more beats. And uh, yeah, if, if you want to check out more music, I do the EDM, the classical, and. Um, yeah, man, I, I got some Spanish music coming up, too. So, you know, everybody in the audience, just stay tuned for that. That's awesome. We got EDM, classical, and Mexican music, bro. Yes, sir. I do it all, man. When it comes to music, I, I do it all. When it comes, like, from the engineering part to the writing to the performance, you know, I I, I just love music, man. That's just my thing, you know, and... I try to get my hands on as many, as much as I can, you know, and right now I'm getting into the performing and I tell you what, man, it's, it's, it's different. You know, it's, it's one thing, you know, it, it, it starts with an idea, you know, you're sitting there doing something and, and something just pops up in your head and you have to write it, you know, you have to write it and then build on that idea, you know, and then, from that idea, you know, you drop some lyrics, here comes the beat, then you're already recording, now you got a dope song, and now it's time to record the video and, 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 and perform it, you know, so it's, it's a whole process, yeah. and it's just amazing to create something out of thin air, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we did that together with this podcast because we, we didn't even know each other. Boom, here comes Coulter, the soldier. And then he's like, yo, here's the homeboy. Let's get this going down. We, we You and I come together and then we set a podcast together. Now we're doing the podcast and then we're going to edit. Well, I'll be editing it and then I'll be throwing it out there, dude. It came from nothing, like from the process of how scheduling, from meeting each other, from DMing to setting everything up now, man. Absolutely, man. And, and, and that's, that's, that's what, you know, that's why people say you got to enjoy the process, you know, because it's, it's the art of it. You know, if you're not enjoying the process, man, you know, it, it's going to show. You feel you know, me? I, sh I do Sundays editing. So I'm editing. I do drop three episodes on Sunday. But um, yeah, man, because then I go, I do audio and video. So I go edit the audio and then I auto, then I do the editing on the video. So it's like, after the podcast, I do the editing and then, and then I distribute out to the platforms and everything. So yeah. yeah. You know, and I enjoy it, dude. I love it. I love doing this. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And, 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 and it's cool because you're from Portland. I'm in Colorado. It's like, we're visiting each other's cities right now too. 
Absolutely. Hey, right there in the background, man. This is uh this is the Willamette uh river right here. And you know, if 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 you know any, anything about the Willamette, it, it, it connects to the Columbia River. And uh, it's it's a pretty historical site, man. So if anybody's out here in Portland, definitely gotta, you know, get on one of those uh yacht tours they're, they're not that expensive but they're 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 very rewarding you know and it's nothing like getting on a boat and getting away from everything just having time to to just think you know and, and appreciate life man yep. absolutely i just got back from chicago my girlfriend and i we took a um architectural tour downtown and, oh, uh, oh, that's we were, awesome! Yeah, we were on a boat there for an hour. That it was for ninety minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's dude. awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, yeah, dude, I've seen documentaries about about the architecture in Chicago. Man, it's supposed to be the best. It's unbelievable, man. It's just like, are you crazy? How's their towers this big right now? It's just crazy. Oh yeah, man. I bet. You been, you been to New York yet? I have. I actually have. I was out there after my graduation, uh, high school graduation. Uh, me and my dad took a road trip from Atlanta to NYC. And, man, it was awesome, man. It was awesome. Um, you know, we drove through the whole 13 colonies. Yeah. Uh, and we stopped at uh, wow, Myrtle cool. Beach, yeah. South Carolina. We stopped at... Uh, uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. We stopped at Washington, D.C. Uh, and then we stopped in uh, New York, man. And we stayed in New York for like two, two weeks what? in Manhattan. Yeah, man. And, and, and this was pre COVID. So we're able to go into the subway without masks or anything and, and just enjoy it, man. I, I, I had the best pizza in my life in New York. Wow. That's what I yeah. hear. That's what I hear. Yeah, yeah, pizza. I mean, you been to New York? No, I have not yet, dude. If you're ever in New York, you have to have the pizza. I know everyone talks about it, and it's kind of like you know, one of those things where, like, you know, do I really want to do what everybody's talking about? But I tell you what, man, it's the pizza, like, like one slice, it's about a foot long. Oh my god, so you can imagine, I mean. You see the, the 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 subway foot longs, right? Yeah. Just imagine that a foot long size pizza, but it's it's thin. It's really yeah. thin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like you get a huge slice and you have to fold it. You can't just eat it like that. You have to fold it. Yeah. And um, yeah, and 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 um and, and and they take the pizza very serious out there, man. The one uh, I, I forgot the name of the place we went to, but um, they literally make their own cheese there. They make their bread, and the brick ovens they have came from Italy. Oh, shit. so yeah, so New York is literally like the Atlanta, you know, like how Atlanta's big in hip hop. Um, New York is is just the is just pizza, man. And I mean, of course, there's there's other things there. You know, there's there's a lot of Art uh, went to go see a Broadway show named Fella. Uh, so, yeah, definitely, man. If, if you're ever out there, make a list of things you want to do because there's so much, man. There's so much. Believe it, man. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm excited to go out there, bro. Um, I want to let everybody know where they can follow you one more time. I'm going to bring up your credentials here because I forgot to bring that up while you're. Uh, coming through i want to let everybody know where they can follow you guys his instagram is dreaming in paradise dreaming in paradise that's d-r-e-a-m-i-n-i-n-p-a-r-a-d-i-s-e hit the link tree make sure you guys like comment share say follow like comment share say follow on the instagram hit the link tree check out all his streams right now you can go to his soundcloud spotify youtube title Oh man, I gotta charge my computer. And then uh, we got music here too. Um, here we go. I'm gonna start off with the first question. One of the questions that we got here for our boy here today for dreams. First question goes like this. Um, who's been your uh, favorite influences today in music? And that comes from Todd. Todd, thanks for the question, sir. 
So, yeah, so my biggest influence in music has always been roots. I I love going back to the roots. I love nice. um, just exploring music. I'll kind of look up an artist and look up like what their earliest stuff was and see what artists were kind of, you know, associated with them at the time. And I just go down the line. I, uh, I, I, I definitely follow um, uh, Celia Cruz. She's, uh, I, you know, for anyone in the audience who doesn't know, she was one of the biggest uh, salsa and merengue music artists. Um, she, she started back in the 40s and uh, she just influenced music, man, all throughout. It's just amazing the things she did for, for Latino music, man. You know, um, she, she had those early African roots and she was, uh, you know, she got together with a, uh, with a salsa band at the time who was putting out artists, a bunch of Latino artists, man. And um, yeah, she got with them and, and, and man, she was like dropping like Spanish spirituals. So to me, you know, that's like, you know, once you're done, like kind of like listening to all the music that's out right now, you know, you definitely want to check out the roots and where it came from. And it's amazing, you know, just, just listening to, how music sounds now to how it sounded back then. It's, right, it's, right. It's like you can hear like, oh, man, so this is where they got this from. And, and then also you you can draw from that. And, and the beautiful thing about it is you just keep that culture going, you know, and, and that's kind of where I'm, you know, where I'm at in, in, in the music industry, man. I want to kind of grab, you know, see where music was back then see where it is now and see where I can take it, you know, see where the next move is. And yeah, absolutely. Celia Cruz has been my biggest influence in music. If, if you listen to her first album that came out, I believe in 1943, it's lit. It's lit, man. It's, it, it, it doesn't even like, like sound like it was back from the forties. It just sounds so fresh. Nice. So that's kind of where I, I try to emulate, you know, I try to emulate. Cool. Yeah. All right, we're going to check that out. We're going to check that out with my girl. Yo, my producer's looking at me. He said we have six minutes left. Six minutes left. I guess they have people coming in here at seven oh. here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore him real quick, but we got six minutes. <laughs> um, we, got, we can still answer a couple of questions. What song do you want me to end on? Do you want me to end on? Um, oh, here, I want to put everybody up on, on this right now. Everybody go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. I got it right here. It's dreams. DR, the number three, AMS. DR, number three, AMS. And there you hit the subscribe button. Boom. We do it live. We hit the subscribe button. And did you want me to uh, close it off on hustle or did you want me to end on, um, let's see here, on um, your other, uh, LAR? Do it on LAR because that's, that's actually the, the, the the latest drop that I did and uh, that one has a featuring artist her name is Lore and I want to kind of you know uh, put her out there you know tell tell the fans who she is and she's a really good artist she's a really good singer and, and before you listen to it I, I did want to add this is her first song that she's ever recorded nice. so once you listen to it, you see like her potential and you see what I saw in her. And that's an artist that I'm, that I'm working with. You know, I'm also a producer and an engineer, and I will be producing an album uh, for her. Um, I, I will be featuring some of the songs, but it's mainly going to be her. Um, but yeah, so that's, 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 that's where I am at. I have a couple of songs dropping as well. I have an album called, um, uh, it's going to be called Turn Up, and that's going to be kind of like my debut album. And, and I, I still don't have a date for it because I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm trying to get uh, Mr. Capone in it. I'm trying to get uh, Pinky Rosie in it. I'm trying to get as many artists as I can just, just to kind of, you know, you know, so it won't just be an album. You know, I, I try to focus on cultural movements. And that's that's where I'm after. You know, I'm trying to get everybody that every, you know, everyone likes and 
and see what we can do with it. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely. We're going to go right now next to me, Rich and Lar. Right now, drop that, drop, drop it, drop it, drop it. Here we go. Ariel ENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast this is an exclusive next to me, Pitching Lar. Tune up, tune up, tune up, turn it up, turn it up. But he's got a job, he's got an album coming out, no date yet. Turn up, turn up. That is next to me, featuring Lar. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to another Aerial Spirit Team podcast. Make sure you go follow my boy Dreams. Okay, go blow him up on the Instagram, on the YouTube, AerialENT.com, Aerial's Entertainment Podcast. Appreciate you all guys sharing the episode, telling your friends and family. Donation links are down below. Yo, Dreams, thank you so much. We're gonna have to do a part two, bro. You already know, man. You already know. Yo, oh, this, this was lit. We're going to have to do a part two. I want to drop this on Sunday. And it's going to be popping. So thank you so much, man. Thank you for having me. And you already know, man. All you got to do is just tell me where to be, what time, and I'm there. Yo, that's what's up. I pre- appreciate you. This was amazing. And uh, when you come to Colorado, hit me up. I'm going to tell the DJ. Oh, you already it. know. Yeah, bro. DJ, you already got a gear to drop the track. You already know. That's great. Appreciate you so much. Appreciate your patience. Guys, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, ArielEMT.com. I told you we had a packed show. I couldn't get every, even anything really uh, in the podcast. We got so much. It was just so amazing, guys. It was just going with the flow. It was so great. But yeah, we're going to have to do a part two, and I can't wait for that. I'm going to have to tell my producer to schedule that here soon. Um, so we're going to have to get that. We're going to have to get more time, too. Producers looking at me because everybody's waiting out there in the hobby, in the lobby, getting the studio. I'm ignoring them. So this is way more important. AerialEMP.com, Aerial's Entertainment Podcast. Is, uh, let's see how the Broncos do this weekend. Let's see how the Broncos do this weekend. When I come out to Portland, I'm going to hit you up, bro. I'm going to hit you up. I haven't been out there before. 
Heck yeah, heck yeah, man. You're welcome. Mi casa es tu casa, man. Yeah, this is como so, that's 